Hey MB Crew, so before we get to this video, make sure you guys turn on your post notifications so you are notified whenever I post a new video to my channel. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my vlog channel, Life is Mona B. It is at the top of the description box below. And make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and TikTok at Mona X Banks. So in today's video, I am going to be talking to you guys about the knotless braids that you guys saw me do a video on. If you have not seen that video, make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. It is linked in the description box below. Before we get into that, I wanna show you guys the shirt that I'm wearing. Isn't it so cute? Cute, cute, cute. I love the fit, it is so cute. So I wanna tell you guys about the shirt. That I am rocking. Shirt says Brilliantly Created. So the name of the company that sent me this shirt is Brilliantly Created. And I'm very thankful for this shirt. I love it. So just to give you guys a little background on, you, on them. The Brilliantly Created collection is my collection of Christian t-shirts designed as a perfect reminder that God brilliantly created you with love and care. So I really love that. And so I will put all the more in-depth information on like how they got started and everything will be in the description box below. Brilliantly created one is the Instagram and I will also put the store link in the description box below if you guys are interested. Brilliantly created is owned by Barbara. She's a confidence coach so make sure you guys go over there and support her business, show her some love. And thank you girl for sending me over such a cute shirt. I love it. But let's just go ahead and get into the video. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about how I feel about the knotless braids. Now I know I was supposed to come back on here and tell you guys and show you guys i was supposed to give you guys an update and i was supposed to show you guys some different styles on the braids well long story short you guys literally after i filmed that video like a day later my camera broke broke so my camera has been in the shop for over a week so i haven't had my camera i just got it back recently so yeah that's why you guys didn't see any more videos on the knotless braids i apologize if i maybe ever get them again in the future i will definitely do some more videos on it but i'm basically here to explain to you guys what i think about them and how i feel about them because i didn't get a chance to talk to you guys about that in comparison to the traditional knot the box braids with the knot so i wore those knotless braids for two weeks they last me literally two weeks i was thinking they would probably last a little bit longer if i tied them up but no you guys, if you not, if you guys do not know, I do have fine type four, four C natural hair, so my hair tends to get fuzzy a lot quicker. But I still was like, let me try them out, let me see. And honestly, you guys, they're they're beautiful. I love the way they look. Rated properly, they did my hair. She did an amazing job on my hair. Her work is a one. But for my hair type, I feel like knotless braids are a little bit um they just don't work well work well with my hair type since i have a super fi super fine hair my hair gets frizzy a lot quicker so for me i definitely do prefer the knot box braids over the knotless box braids because with knot box braids it's kind of like all the hair is gathered into that braid and my hair isn't going to get frizzy if you guys know what i mean with the knotless braids more of your hair is exposed yes they are a lot lighter like a lot lighter and that's what i loved about them because they're really lightweight but a lot more of your scalp and your hair is exposed at the root which causes your hair to frizz a lot quicker so that's why i don't personally think i will ever get those again may i was thinking maybe in the future maybe trying them smaller because i did get larger ones so i'm thinking if i ever do get them again i will get them smaller because i do love the look of them they look so clean they're so neat the parts on them are like bomb um but like i said if i ever was to get them in the future again i would definitely get them smaller i wouldn't get the jumbo ones because i don't know i just feel like because they're bigger squares of hair being parted so i feel like maybe that contributes to my hair frizzing a lot quicker but also for like around my hairline i definitely prefer the knot because i feel like it holds my hair better together better because i do have fine hair and especially like around my hairline um is a lot finer my hair has always been like this you guys even before y'all see me on youtube and everything i've always had fine hair so for me i'm leaning more i'm going with the knot because it just lasts longer it holds my hair together better and my hair does not frizz quick and even when my hair does start to frizz the hair still looks bomb 
You know what I'm saying? Like, it still doesn't, it doesn't look old. I feel like with the knotless braids, after two weeks, they looked old. And I didn't really like that. And it's, not, it's nothing against the work that was done because she braids beautifully. It's just, that's just how my hair is, you guys. Her hair is more on the thicker side. Your hair will be able to hold with the knotless braids. But with somebody like me that has fine natural hair, not so much. You guys, I just want to come and give y'all an update on what I thought about the braids. Like again, I, I couldn't do any more updated videos because my camera was in the shop and I took my hair down more little story. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about knotless braids. Do you prefer knotless braids or do you prefer the knot with traditional box braids? Let your girl know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you all on the next one. Bye. <laughs>